Oh look, that thing's turning. And he's got the porch hose. That means he's gonna be burning. Turning and burning. Welcome to Turning and Burning, your number one channel, all things blue collar. If you watched our other videos, you've seen a lot of our projects are pretty big, but not every single project is big. I'm gonna take you along today and show you what we're gonna be doing. We're out here, the guys are up there right now, getting everything ready and loose so we can pull some chutes out, add some pipes. I'll kind of take you along and uh, show you how this goes. We got two identical screens, one over here and one over here. They each have a chute in there. Let me take you over here to the other side and show you what we're going to be doing with these chutes. So this conveyor feeds the top of the chute right here and feeds this screen, which will screen out all the big stuff. All the sand that they're using will come out and goes to the plant, and then all the waste product will go out there. For these chutes right now, they are a little bit smaller, so we built some new chutes, and I'll show you the new ones. And we extended these out a little bit wider. And then uh, we're gonna need to put some water in there. So once we get these chutes pulled out and installed, we're gonna run some water. We got some pipes pre-made coming up here. 90 around, we're gonna use the hose to 90 up into a big old spray bar. So anytime we do a little job like this, we wanna try to get it done as quick as we can so we don't keep the plant down. So we prefab as much as we can. So we went up here and we measured the chute and we built two identical chutes just like this. And on the other, shoot right here this is actually comes at a 45 up to here and this is laying down flat right now it'll stand back up what we've done is we've taken that out and just made a big box that way when the material comes in here it's going to fill all this up that way the material wears on material and then here on the bottom the other one the opening was uh only 12 inches we widen this out bigger to 16 to allow bigger rocks to flow through there and then we're gonna have a spray bar go across here. It's gonna be pushing and cleaning all the material. That way we can get a good flow that way because they're after the sand and sometimes you get some big rocks in there and they want that sand to be washed and pushed through onto the screen. Bang board, come straight down. We'll fill up and it'll kind of get it a 45. The spray bar will be washing here, here, get a little bit of a boil action going. And it's come down over there, hit the screen, head on out. That's why I said talking about just put the other pipe on top. That way, cut it because this piece will go on top with the valve. That way, we sit in there, we can twist that 90 wherever we need it and then tack it. And these pieces are randomly cut, so we'll just cut them to whatever size. And put this on the big hose. That way it 90s up for the vibration. 
Easiest way I can think of. I think that'll work. You figure out our degree? Yeah, because and then this will be, we'll sit up on top of the chute and then we'll figure out where we're gonna cut the holes for the water. I like <clears> it. Bada bing, bada boom. Sir, I like it. <laughs> It's Monday morning, well, Monday afternoon. Just pulled up to the job site. We're gonna see how the shoots and spray bars ended up working. Uh, they called this morning, said everything seemed to be okay. There's a few minor tweaks, but we're gonna go take a look at it and let me show you how these things work and, um, and uh, why we did what we did. So everything seemed to be all right. There's a little lip that we put on the bottom of the chute. It seems like it's not letting the water flow where I want to. I wanted to try to get it to direct more in the middle of the screen. So they want to run all week and uh, shut down Friday. We're going to come out here and make some minor adjustments to it. But other than that, it seems to be doing what they wanted. So fingers crossed that it keeps doing what it's supposed to be doing and they can up their production and, and uh, get some nice clean sand over to their other part of the plant but that's it we are not going to drag up but we're going to roll on into the next one until next time peace